So for this part, you need about six to seven pieces of chicken. These are like six ounce breasts. They're a lot bigger than the normal ones. So I have one. It's been uh, just been sitting in a little bit of water. And I have an empty one. And it's clean. I'm gonna put it there, and we're gonna rinse it from there. All right. So we're gonna go through the process of uh, breaking down the chicken now. First, I'm gonna get myself some gloves. Regular latex cooking gloves. No powder. You don't have to use gloves. I prefer to use gloves, even though I did wash my hands off camera. Uh, and then we start the process. You want to make sure you have a sharp knife. Now it might look fancy, but it's just sharp. It's the biggest thing about it, a sharp knife. Um, it's a chicken breast. There's not a lot of cleaning to do on a chicken breast. What I first usually do is take this little piece off. This is the chef's cut. Really nice. This is where you use the sample. Yeah. Usually make sure there's no extra fat. Just right here. I usually take a little, that little piece off. Just because I don't like to see it. So it comes out like this. Nice form chicken. This is our chicken. We're going to get ready to uh, clean it. So pour water. I always use cold water. About that much. Add in some vinegar. It's white vinegar and ladder. You know, make sure say, everything nice. You're gonna find little pieces like these that are, you know, just move that out side on. And for now, okay. this time, come on, Jules. See, okay, it should be nice. Ready now. Chicken is clean, fresh, and we're going to start the seasoning process. I'm going to show you guys how to deal with the onion. So this onion, or five cloves of garlic, I'm going to show you. This is going to be a part of the sauce, the making of the sauce at the end. So usually, with the onion, I take the top off. Key, the key thing with an onion is sharp knife you have to have a sharp knife when dealing with onions if you don't have a sharp knife you're gonna in you're in for a long day crying see we take off everything else but we don't take this core off right here see this core right here we don't take off because if you take it off the onion is going to start bleeding Bleeding is going to lead to crying. And yeah, that's why a lot of people say, oh, I hate onions. No, I love onions. Just got to know how to deal with them. So halfway down the bottom, inside. And you just want to make small slits. And then, voila. This, I don't show it up. I put it over here. I can use that for something else, like if I'm doing beef ribs or pork ribs, I use that for like a mirepoix, just to you know, make a gravy or something. There we go, voila, onion is done. Move that over, stick my garlic, take the heads off. Try to use every part of the vegetable the food that i have this i'm just going to grab an individual again practice becomes perfect with knife skills
you see at this point the core ingredients of my uh my sauce is done next you want a large orange peeled give it a couple rolls so as you know we get some of the juice out of it what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go at the top bottom off i'm gonna go down the middle i'm gonna try to get some nice even cuts even cuts Voila. do the same thing with the next side Voila. done now it's time for the easy part so with seasoning chicken or when I season especially this type of chicken I'm gonna do First, add a tablespoon of oil. Then I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. And be generous. Salt is a very important thing. Be generous with it. Now this one. This is called GP. The chefs that are gonna wash this when they see this, they're going to be like, hmm, didn't give us the full name, but this is a blend of dried herbs and spices. This is, uh, this makes everything better. Trust me. Be generous. GP. I have a chef that I work with. He always says, without the GP, not nah, but nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. It's about two, two ounces of uh, lemon juice. You can't have citrus chicken without lemon juice. Then you want to add some black pepper. This is grounded black pepper. And just a little bit of maggi. A little bit, not too much. And last but definitely not least, our second to last, is some grown paprika. We all know paprika is good for us. You guys probably wondering where is the heat going to come from? Don't worry. I'm going to give you all of that with the sauce. And this is dried thyme. I don't really want any sticks in there. But we do want the leaves. And then... The fun part, putting it all together. All right. See, I'm a person that's very visual, so I'll look at the chicken and I'll be like, mm, I don't like the way it looks. So I want to add some more seasoning. That's why we always have extra seasoning. And just knowing myself, I'm gonna add everything. So the rest of it goes in right now. purpose a uh, little bit more salt and the rest of the paprika and the paprika is going to give it color and it gives it a a very distinct taste yep there we go mm. this looks so good all right, so this is our chicken. Yep, that's our chicken. That is our chicken. There we go. Okay. Nice, perfect. Perfect. See, there's a lot of chef cuts in here now. All right, and voila. This is what the seasoned chicken look like. We're gonna sear it off to give it a nice outer color and seal in the seasonings as well. First things first, your pan. 
I'm going to put my stove to about high for right now. Get it up to a boil. Making sure the oil is almost smoking. This is going to happen really fast. Alright. Make sure the oil is all over the bottom of the pot. Usually I use a skillet, but I'm not at the studio. So I'm using my actual home kitchen. So stuff are not like all organized. But same result. No exception. For that, we're going to get our pan prepped for the oven. So we're going to put the oven at 350. And we're going to cook the chicken for about 10 minutes. All right. Look real closely. You'll see those little bubbles start happening. Once your pot comes to a full bubble, you're going to start adding chicken. The smoking of the oil starts. So you're going to go ahead and be careful. Lay the chicken away from your body. You want to hear that sizzle. Chef Bai was telling me about. And this is what the chef is going to snack on. I'm just going to get oranges inside on top of the chicken. Nice. Be generous. Sauce right a little bit of oil, about half a teaspoon. We're gonna drop that back. We're gonna use a wooden spoon with this. Just gonna sweat the onions. Sweating the onions and just half cooking them. Once they perfect, smell and taste. On the internet, you guys gotta try this one. You know what I'm gonna do with this, right? I'm gonna add some. Some orange juice to the sauce. Then add, then add your chicken stock and bring to a boil. Perfect. So we're just gonna add about half a cup of honey. Let it boil. And Transfer it. Just transferring now. That's gonna go in the oven for 15 minutes and then we're good. 